health insurance, and I had a job that would give that to him. So, my God, these people admit they got married for health care. This is... Well, it's not just professional leeches, Snurdly. Look at look at what this kind of cradle to grave socialism is doing to our culture. One kiss on a beanbag chair, you head over to the Justice of the Peace in Manhattan, you get married for health care. But four years later, there is now irony in the fact that the couple could soon divorce for the same reason. After Obamacare is rolled out, we realize that we would save thousands of dollars if we got divorced, Aronowitz said. So why don't you head back to the beanbag chair, take back the kiss, head back over to the Justice of the Peace and break it up. The issue for Aronowitz and Kassara is that together, as a family of only two, they make more than the $62,000. It's the same thing. They make too much money. So... Not only is Obamacare rotten for the economy, it is bad, very bad for families. Together, as a family of only two, they make more than the $62,000 level to qualify for subsidies under the Affordable Care Act. But if they lived together unmarried, they would qualify for the subsidies, and they could literally save hundreds of dollars a month on their health care. So that's what they're going to do. Obamacare. Affordable Care Act. Um, maybe this pair in Brooklyn need to call a couple in San Francisco and say, you don't have to get divorced. You just have to find a way to lower your income. And that can't be too hard now with this new mayor. Because everybody's going to have less money. 